Hi, all, welcome back to 10 Minutes HR. Today, we'll dive into a hands-on session on how to create your very own PCB calculator using Excel. Now, you might be wondering, why should I make my own PCB calculator when I can just use the one on the LHDN website? That's a great question. The LHDN calculator is an excellent and official tool for calculating PCB. However, I often hear from my audience that they have doubts about the tax calculations in their payroll systems. Sometimes, the support team handling payroll might be based in another country and may not be familiar with Malaysia's payroll rules, or they might simply be new to the payroll industry. On top of that, building your own calculator gives you the chance to better understand how Malaysia's tax calculations work. It's also a good idea because tax reliefs and rates can change from time to time. By having your own PCB calculator, you can customize it to fit different scenarios and improve your Excel skills along the way. Let's quickly recap how PCB works. First, you'll need to determine your total income, which can include your monthly salary, overtime pay, and allowances. Then, you have deductible items, such as the 9,000 individual deduction, EPF contributions, and reliefs for your spouse and dependent children. Once you have your total income, subtract your deductions to get your net taxable income. This is the amount we will use to calculate your tax. For today's session, I've prepared three scenarios, and we'll go through them across three episodes. Let's start with the first one. Start by opening a blank Excel sheet. You'll also need your internet browser to access the LHDN PCB calculation specifications. Here's the tax rate table we're looking for. Back to Excel. We'll begin with a basic calculation. Create an input cell for a annual taxable income. Instead of manually entering the annual income, we'll calculate it by multiplying the monthly salary by 12. This will give us the annual taxable income. Next, let's check what the expected tax is for an annual income of 60,000. Referring to the tax table, 60,000 falls within the 50,000 to 70,000 range. Though. In Excel, we need our calculator to automatically refer to this tax table, so we'll recreate the table in our sheet for reference. Now, the actual work begins. We'll use the VLOOKUP function to find the matching tax tier. Let's input the taxable income and use VLOOKUP to find the corresponding tax tier in our table. We'll set the final parameter to a true for an approximate match because most of the time, we won't have an exact match for the income. Hit enter to test the formula and you should get a correct tax amount of 1500 for the first 50,000 of income. Next, let's calculate what is the remaining balanced taxable amount. The tax on the remaining 10,000 from 60,000 to 50,000. 
before that we want to automate this process, so logic will fetch base tax amount even we change the monthly income later. So we put in another VLOOKUP to fetch taxable income from table. We have the base taxable income now, take annual taxable income minus with this 50,001 and we get the remaining taxable amount for 11%. Remember to retrieve the tax rate for the remaining amount, which is 11%. Remaining amount multiply 11% equals 1,099.89. Your total annual tax will be 1,500, for the first 50,000, plus the tax on the remaining 10,000. Divide the total annual tax by 12 to get your monthly PCB. Now, let's verify our calculator using the official LHDN PCB calculator. Enter 5000 for the monthly salary, let's ignore the EPF for now. We will expect tax not match with PCB calculator because employee EPF is not factor in. Annual EPF contribution will more than 4,000, so later we will cap it at 4,000. The PCB calculator returns 134.20 as the tax, which is different from our result. Let's troubleshoot. Click on Akira to see the calculation details, and here's the root cause, the PCB calculator includes the RM9000 individual deduction, which we missed in our logic. And here's the root cause, the PCB calculator includes the 9000 individual deduction, which we missed in our logic. We know our tax calculation is correct when it comes to reading the tax table, but we missed the deductions. Let's move the tax calculation down slightly in the sheet to make room for the deduction section. Now that we've added the deduction section, we can enter 9000 for the personal deduction and update the formula. Also, we will use a new cell to store net taxable income and make taxable income cell refer to net taxable income. So later when we introduce more logic in deduction or earnings section, it will not affect tax rate calculation.
Now that we've added the deduction section, we can enter 9000 for the personal deduction and update the formula. The tax amount should now match the PCB calculator. Let's add some color to the key cells involved in the tax calculation so they're easy to identify. We'll also complete the deductions section by adding more relief items like EPF, spouse, child reliefs, and SOXO contributions. Let check again if the cell holding net taxable income is correct. It should be income e deduction. When we try put in value in other types of deduction, taxable income will reduce and tax amount will reduce too. Back to our scenario 1, check if we have our chief scenario 1 objective. Remove these testing value in deduction. And we just want to keep 9,000 for personal deductino and 4,000 for EPF. Tax amount will be 109.995. It will get round to 110. Check this with PCB calculator, try to re-enter all the value make sure we test it properly. Here we have our match tax amount. With that, we've completed today's session on building a basic PCB calculator for Scenario 1. Stay tuned for the next video, where we'll cover Scenario 2. Thanks you for watching, if you enjoy this content, make sure to follow us for more exiting updates, leave your comments and share your thoughts.